What is going on, YouTube? Uh, as always, it's been a little while since I posted, um, and I've said many times before, I only like to post when something comes into my mind that I feel like is uh, worthy of me sharing with you guys, try not to waste your time and fill my channel with too much repetitiveness. Um, but this one I felt was uh, a pretty decent topic to talk about, and uh, also, I'll kind of let you know what has been going on in my life because I've gotten quite a few uh, comments and messages kind of wanting to know more about what I've been doing in my own personal life. Um, firstly, I've started braiding my hair, well, having my girlfriend braid my hair because it's actually pretty difficult to do, but it is a goal that I've had and now it's coming in just like the beard is. Um, but. Uh, I'll get more to what my plans are here towards the end of the video. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was one thing that I feel like has helped me significantly on my journey through sobriety, and that is the vocalization of what I'm going through. I think that in alcoholism, they're like your first response be due to shame or personal uh, anger or regret towards the actions that you do is we internalize a lot of things and we don't really communicate a lot about what we're going through and I think within sobriety the uh, the answer to that the weapon that you use against that is the communication and vocalization of it and that can kind of help breaking down the stigma of what it even means to be an alcoholic so for me when I first decided to get sober I was extremely open about it and I uh, even when opportunities arose to talk about it I did talk about it because it helped me kind of solidify my new identity in my mind um, but it also helps take away that negative stigma towards what it means to be an alcoholic it doesn't have to be this inherently negative and shameful thing uh, just like someone that can't have gluten or is allergic to dairy um, you're effectively allergic to alcohol. You just can't have it. And a reaction I get a lot of the time when someone asks me my opinion on a beer or something that we have on the board, um, and I don't always feel the need to bring it up, um, especially as time goes on and you're more comfortable with who you are. Um, but I would just nonchalantly let them know, I'm like, oh, actually I'm an alcoholic. And a lot of the times I get the reaction of people just being like, oh my God, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. And I take that opportunity to let them know that, oh no, it's, it's nothing, it's totally fine. So the more open and uh, communicative you are about it, the less it feels like something you need to hide. And I implore you to not hide it. Don't, don't try to keep this uh, fact about you, this kind of secret that you hide away. Now, not everyone is going to be as open and communicative uh, as everyone else is, but I do think that to the degree that you're comfortable with, talking about it will make it feel like less of an issue because ultimately, it's not this, this weakness that you have to hide away. It's just a fact about yourself. You know, and the more that you're comfortable talking about it, the more you're comfortable with it. And uh, when situations arise where you might be offered alcohol um, or invited to an event that the primary goal of the event is to get inebriated, you're gonna be a lot more comfortable just letting them know your reason why you're not going. Um, so at this point, it's it's so comfortable with, with who I am and part of my identity that there's almost this willingness and want to talk about it. Um, and it's, my, my whole kind of mission statement here is trying to change how we view sobriety and how we view alcoholism as not this shameful thing that has to be discussed behind closed doors, but something that can be out and open and discussed freely. Um, with people I've kind of helped uh, realize this about themselves, uh, this step might be kind of uncomfortable at first, but anything new is un uncomfortable at first. So try being a little bit more vocal about it. Um, another thing that has helped in the past is when you're at your, your low points or when you're especially beginning sobriety, writing a letter to yourself about all the reasons why you don't drink and why you shouldn't drink and, and why you hate drinking and what it does to you and all the 
the regret and the self-loathing and the depression, writing that letter to yourself. And if you have to, keep it in your wallet or your purse or somewhere, even the notes in your phone. And when you feel like you are drawn back to your old ways, pulling that out and reading it and sitting with the urge until it leaves you. Um, that has been massively beneficial to me and to other people I have kind of try to help along their way in this journey. So to kind of summarize that, just don't, don't hide anything. You know, that alcoholism is about hiding things and about internalizing it. And when you keep it in your mind, you don't, it's not out in the open and no one else knows about it. And that's why being vocal about your decisions helps you stay true to them as well, because it holds you accountable. Everyone knows what is going on with you. No one wants to drink with a self-professed alcoholic. Um, and it allows you to be, being open about it allows you to be more comfortable with who you are and on this uh, new path and this new life of yours. Um, as far as I go, I have another powerlifting meet coming up in March. It is at Sacramento and I believe it's at the same gym actually, um, but there's gonna be a lot more people at this meet which I, I welcome, that's awesome. I think my first meet, there was about 20 people and I did take best male lifter and I won my weight class. And although that was a massive achievement for me, I do wanna you know, test my mettle against more people. So my goals are to squat 500 or over, uh, to bench press 400 or the closest to it, um, and then deadlift over 600 pounds. So that would give me somewhere in the ballpark of a 1500 or more total. Um, and that's pretty solid clocking in at my body weight of about 215. Um, I will upload all the videos from that so that you guys can see how that meet went. Um, and I, I look forward to it. I have a lot of excitement and just like uh, a lot of things with life, once you've done it once, it becomes easier and easier. Just kind of like uh, discussing your your alcoholism and and what you're going through in your life it becomes easier and easier as you discuss it more uh, I hope this video helps you guys and if you feel like it, there's someone else that it can help please feel free to share it with them like share subscribe um, I'm happy that I'm going to keep this one under 10 minutes it's kind of a, a short little video today so um, and uh, yeah I love the comments I love the messages I get a lot um, from people at this point kind of all over the world and we're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers Which is nuts and I know in the YouTube world. That's kind of tiny, but in my world. It's monumentous so I thank all of you for subscribing and watching and uh, I hope this helps and Until next time stay sober